So uh, I come back to the point that you were making, uh, you know, when you started this US business and, you know, a big enterprise mindset uh, is one thing that you're talking about, which, uh, you know, uh, you can't afford, you have to hustle your way through. Uh, most of the times, uh, you know, people underestimate the effort required, okay, to build a business, right? And in large companies, uh, the momentum takes them along. But in a in a in a company like what you are trying to build, uh, you know, there is almost this feeling when you actually ask them this question: "This is not what I was hired for." And you talk about this mindset in the book: "This is not what I was hired for." Mindset, and that is something that people should be ready for. And and the advisory board then allows you to ask these kinds of questions to these people, and that is a very important, uh, I would say, radar that. Uh, helps a profit con right oh absolutely right see in the early stages of a company there are not many clear job descriptions mm-hmm. okay because your ch- there's a lot of unknown like we talked about earlier you know it's a compass it's not like a perfectly well defined map you know a customer has a problem there's a fire to be fought you got to fix that problem okay there is no uh, there is no manager or uh, uh, someone up to report to you know the buck stops typically uh, the stop buck stops with the entrepreneur right and i think see, this is really where it's the mindset which is very very critical that i am not go- i'm going out there if i survive today my odds of success improve if i survive tomorrow it's even better mm. okay. it's not that oh I'm going to now work for the next two years. I'm going to sell this company for $20 million and live happily ever after. Because then the decisions that you're going to make are very different from the one that, look, I am in it for the long term. This is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. That mindset, again, is very, very different from that exit-oriented. Mm. And that's why I also say that the, for an entrepreneur, while the reaching the destination is one thing, the journey is very important. You have to be in it, and there are there are going to be more down days than up days. You know, you are going to come into work. Okay, these are twenty things to do. Some uh, customer has a problem. Something is down. You got to look at it, uh, and you got to spend your time in that. And then you look at the end of the day, and you say, "Look, out of the twenty things I want to do today, I could barely manage to do five. And you got to like this feeling. Mm. So that is how life is going to be in the early stages of an entrepreneur, of an entrepreneurial venture, till you are able to grow to a certain level. Brilliant. So you you have to, you know, uh, accept what you said earlier also the uncertainty that goes with the terrain, okay, the com- comfort with the compass, okay, the mountains beyond mountains, that are there. All of this is very important in building a business. And but what your what your what really drives you is the fact that I am going out and solving problems for my customers because that is the core of an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is identifying a gap in the marketplace mm-hmm. and saying that I'm going to solve that problem. And if I solve that problem for enough people, I will get revenues. And if I keep my cost low, that's how I get profits. Exit so, is not the drive. That yes. has to be removed from the equation. 